Hey everyone, Matt Thomas here. Thanks for watching. I want to give you one strategy that will make your students' parents love you. Wait, which one of you said retire? That's terrible. Why would you even say that? No, it's communication. And before you go, oh, I already know this. Um, no, it's, it's a specific type of communication. Um, and it is video messages. And so I know we, we all put things on Canvas and we all do, you know, Google Classroom and so on. Um, and that's great. Um, but parents sometimes see it as extra steps to get to being able to see what's going on in their center daughter's classroom. And so what happens is, is when we, when we as teachers send video messages to parents, we're kind of getting in front of everything, right? We're making it easier for them. And so the video messages, uh, are essentially what you're doing in class that week, um, what the assignments are going to be, what the expectations for grades are going to be, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I for those of you who email uh, your parents, um, I did that for years as well, and I think email is great. Um, the issue with, with me, my emails would get really, really long. They would take about an hour to write because I would try to be as clear as possible. Um, and then one day I just thought, I'm going to start doing video messages. They're much more efficient. Um, they're a lot faster to produce. Parents can listen to them while they're, you know, doing other things, while they're at work or driving or whatever, um, as opposed to having to take the time to read an email. But the most important uh, is, is the tone factor. So um, if, if you, when sending an email, uh, parents will read with a specific tone that may not be what you intended. So Farah writes in a 2019 article that people tend to attribute voices and imagined characteristics written to written text based on their previous experiences. So if your student's parents uh, were dealing with difficult teachers back in the day, that's the tone that your parents may read your email with. So um, if I'm, so I, 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 for example, I'm an A or F teacher. And so if, if my parents, if I'm writing all that out, explaining my grading procedures uh, with my students, my parents may read it in this tone. They may read, I'm an ARF teacher. And if your son or daughter doesn't do it right the first time, it's a zero. And I give it back to them and they have to, to fix it. And then it's late and it's an F. So they may read with that tone. Whereas if I'm recording a video to explaining my grading procedures with the parents and I go, yeah, I'm an ARF teacher because I really believe that, you know, uh, students should do it right the first time. But don't worry, I'm going to set it up with the exact parameters that I'm looking for. I'm going to make sure it's very clear. If they don't do it right, I'll give it back to them. They have a chance to redo it. But by that time, it's late. Um, and I just I do that because I think it reflects real life better, et cetera. So if I'm explaining all this in my tone, parents can go, oh, OK, yeah, I, I understand what he's saying. Um, and, and what's what's great about sending video uh, messages is that if you're if you're constantly kind of praising your students in these video messages and you're very upbeat and you're like, hey, parents, you know, thanks for watching. Here's here's uh, what we're doing this week. You know, here's what the, the assignments are going to be. Here's how I'm going to grade them. And here's how your son or daughter can get an A. You know, see you next week. Like if you if you do that, then they, they see your face it kind of bridges that gap between parent teachers. Um, they, they know who you are exactly. They're, they're knowing exactly what's going on in your class, which is what parents want to know, right? They want to know specifically what's going on in your class. And they only hear it from their son or daughter's perspective, which may not be accurate. Um, so if you're telling the parents at the beginning of the week, here's what's going on, here's what we're working on, at least they know exactly what, what's going on. And so when you do have to make that negative contact with with parents like hey i'm so sorry to ask you this but do you mind you know asking your son or daughter to uh to you know stop texting so much in class when you need to make that type of a contact it makes it so much easier because your parents first of all you're probably going to be one of the few teachers that actually communicate with the parents so the parents are going to love you for that they're going to know you they're going to see you they're going to hear your tone so when you do have to contact them for you know, more like negative stuff, they'll be so supportive of you. Uh, grading expectations will be so much clearer. Um, they'll be on your side. Your parents will love you for doing this. Classroom management will, it will be so much easier for you too. Um, and I like doing the video messages because I'll tell you, I hate calling parents. I, I'm one of those people where before I call a parent, I'm staring at the phone for 10 minutes. And mainly because I'm one of those people that likes to think about what I say before I say it. So if I'm talking with a parent and they're throwing a bunch of questions at me, you know, I can't really say, well, I don't know, give me 10 minutes. Let me think about it first. But with these video messages, I can. I can, I can be up front with everything I'm going to say. I can clearly, you know, uh, explain what's going on in class. That way, if I get an email sent to me, I could either respond back with an email or send another video message if it's like a, a longer um, response. So how do we do it? 
So I send video messages about what's going on in class either every week or every other week. And I, I record the video messages via Canvas Studio. Um, I could show you how to do that, but I'm using Canvas Studio right now to record this message, so I can't show you. Maybe I can do it in a live workshop. Um, and I send them through IC Messenger. So let me show you quickly how I do that if you've never used it before. So I go to Message Center. I go to New. Go down to Message Details, put the subject in, write the message. And then there's the link button right there. So if you're using Canvas Studio or whatever, you'll get the link of your video, put it in there, and then press Next. When you, after you're done with Next, you go to, to the semester, in this case semester one, click what classes you want, go to Student Messenger Contacts, that means parents or students if you want to um, you know, send it to the students as well, go to Next, and then ultimately it's going to, you'll press Send, and then that'll send it out to everyone. Um, I will tell you, uh, because you're opening the door for communication, you know, expect the parents to, uh, to communicate back with you. Um, oftentimes, it's very, very positive. Um, you're, like I said, you'll probably be one of the few teachers that do this. Um, and how amazing would it be if we all did this, right? We'd be known as the school with like open communication and we're, you know, constantly updating the parents on what's going on in class. Um, but that's it. I, I will tell you in all sincerity, it's, it's, it, uh, it's incredible. It uh, will, will make, so, will create such a great relationship between you and, and the students' parents. Thanks, guys.